it was a guys on the penalty test technical analysis that's already one hour chart for the day so we have an rsi of 50.84 right now and the macd is just about to curl into the green we are green in the pre-market by about 1.33 percent i'm not sure how well this will stick but once again Palantir is still in this sort of consolidating pattern right now so I won't be worried that Palantir is going to head down unless we see a huge sell um, below this sort of yellow consolidating line and you can draw your own line it's not going to be you know perfect and and this I actually changed this yesterday when they updated some data on the CPI so um, you know this can change as well and if you're looking at the RSI, the RSI is you know, just started to break out into the green, into the bullish zone. Um, and once again, we're going to have to see if the market can hold this pressure um, towards the upside because, you know, the CPI data is bad. But the thing is that I'm not sure how uh, much that matters right now because at some point the, the spending um, or rather the, the Fed might be causing inflation by themselves. I'm not going to talk about too much of that, but there is just a possibility and if you look at the rest of the market right now um s p 500 is actually green and qqq is also green here so it doesn't look like the market is necessarily too affected by the cpi it might have just been you know one day shock to the market and, and uh, we'll see what happens in the next few days okay um next up let's move on to that one day chart and yes uh pound here is still overbought on the one day chart and you know if you're if you're asking yourself whether you want to sell or not um i think i'll just raise you this question uh what's the reason to sell right do you think that um the reason to sell is just because that rsi is pretty high do you think that um ai is pretty overblown right now do you think there's a bubble um that is for you to decide i'm not going to tell you whether you should buy or sell but i really want you guys to um, give a reason to why you want to sell and, and why do you think uh Palantir will head back down right maybe it's overvalued I will say um, the PE looks to be pretty high, but uh, you know PE is not the only thing you, can tr you should trade off, right? Uh, PE right now is at 277. You can say that it's pretty high. I would tend to agree with you, but um, just looking out um, in 2024, I think AI will probably um, continue to accelerate. Um, we'll see what happens though. You know, I might be wrong as always, but um there doesn't seem to be a lot of news here so if you actually scroll down um code is testing a new anti-thesis uh razor seed funding for you know basically another ai uh startup here and other than that there's just uh not a lot of news here so um one last thing i want to go through is pound uh sorry amit make a new video on pound here um penalty isn't stopping yet uh, alex cup writes a new article apparently and, and they're doing new energy deals so I don't think Palantir is necessarily slowing down. I just think that, um, sure, they might be a little bit overblown, but that does not necessarily mean you should like buy puts or, or I don't know. You know what? I'm going to stop there because someone might actually buy puts and you know when I'm wrong, they might actually make money, okay? So I'm going to end it off with that. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe and see you in the next one.